Kia ora, this is Arun Jacob, your friendly and frank licensed New Zealand immigration advisor as well as international education advisor. My team and I, we love to work with young international students from different parts of the world and ask them to come and study in our beautiful country called Aotearoa or the land of the long white cloud, also known as New Zealand. So hey guys, this is uh, my comments being offered about the uh, changes that occur to the post-study working visa rights of international students as announced by the Immigration Minister of New Zealand yesterday, uh, which is the 8th of August, uh, uh, 2018. Uh, and I think uh, this is one of the best uh, uh, policy changes that has happened, uh, which is going to boost the international education sector of New Zealand. And my first reaction yesterday, I was in Auckland doing a seminar at one of the colleges that we work with. And I knew that there was an announcement that happened by the time I came back home, it was pretty late, so I could not sit with the policy and read through it. But today I spent a lot of time looking at uh, uh, the policy. And I think for the last couple of hours, I've been kind of looking at to see what it was. And my first reaction was, wow, what an incredible policy this is. And it's going to really, really, you know, uh, uh, boost the morale of international students primarily and the institutions that serve them in New Zealand and also companies like AJV, uh, which are providing services to help uh, bring this wonderful high quality international students to our high quality New Zealand institutions. So well done, the government of New Zealand. This was some great policy changes and I'm going to briefly talk about it. I'll try and simplify it, guys, so that, you know, you don't have to wonder, oh, what is this all about? Because there is a, there are a lot of words in the policy. So in my normal, usual uh, Arun Jacob style, I'm going to try and break it down and put it out there as to what it means to different people uh, who are uh, affected in a positive manner by this policy. Number one, international students who are already present in New Zealand, what's going to happen to them? Great news, guys. This is going to be like Christmas has come early and you have a gift in your hand because most international students who do come to New Zealand study at the minimum level four and at the highest they will study level 10, which is PhD. So with the new policy in place, uh, what's going to happen and which is effective from the 26th of November, 2018, that's when the policy will get effective from. So if you're already a student in New Zealand and studying uh, a level between level four and six, and if you're studying for at least two years, congratulations, you're going to get a three years post study work visa. Well done. Woohoo. And if you're going to be asked, if you're if you're a student who is uh, studying at level seven, graduate diploma, bachelor's, level eight, postgraduate diploma, level nine, master's and level 10, uh, PhD and you're already in New Zealand and you're going to graduate uh, beyond 26th November 2018. Woohoo! Congratulations to you people as well. You're also going to get a three years post-study work visa. No strings attached. No employer attached. Nothing. Earlier, you were only getting a one year post-study work visa. Now we're going to get a three years post-study work visa and no employer attached, which was done to remove the fact uh, that, you know, uh, or to counter the fact that some of the employers were exploiting the international students. So out with all these unscrupulous employers, no longer do they hold the power over you. And so you're going to get a three years post-study work visa uh, after you complete your course. So many, many congratulations to all you guys. And if you already have your spouse present in New Zealand, uh, and if you're going to get your post-study work visa as per this policy, by the, you know, by association of the fact that your spouse is now the partner of a work visa holder, your spouse would also be eligible to get a three years work visa, which is incredible, guys. This is like a bonanza. Not only will you be able to stay on in New Zealand and find jobs relevant to the course you've completed and reach that level of salary and then be able to make your uh, resident visa applications and stay on in New Zealand. But then uh, even if you do not, uh, you know, end up getting the residency, you're going to stay in New Zealand for three whole years and be able to work and contribute to our workforce and also earn your money and recover your investment and then be able to go back home. So I think this is incredibly good news, both for students uh, who are already studying in New Zealand, the international students, I mean, and also for their spouses and families who are in New Zealand. So great news, guys. I'm very, very happy for you guys. You must all write a thank you email to the Minister of Immigration. Now for those students who are still planning to come to New Zealand, there are a few variations and twists and turns that they have done with the policy. But if you're planning to come for a level seven bachelor's course or a level eight postgraduate diploma or a level nine master's degree or a level 10 PhD, 
irrespective of which part of New Zealand you study in, you will get a post study three years post study work visa. Simple, straightforward. So level seven bachelor's, <clears throat> level eight postgraduate diploma, level nine master's or a level 10 PhD, uh, you will be eligible for a three years uh, post study work visa, no strings attached, which is brilliant, fantastic. Now, if you're coming for a non-degree level seven, which mostly is a graduate diploma or a graduate certificate. And if you're studying in Auckland, you will still get a one year post study work visa, which is fantastic. It is the same uh, policy as now. Uh, but if you're studying in Auckland and you also have to work towards registration with a professional body or a trade body, you will get one plus one, which is two years post study work visa. Or if you're studying outside Auckland and whether you have a registration requirement or don't have, you will get a two years post study work visa, which I think is incredible because there are so many beautiful graduate diplomas available outside Auckland as well in places like Hamilton, where I live, Wellington, Christchurch, Napier, New Plymouth, Palmerston North, Dunedin, Invercargill. You know, we have these lovely uh, graduate diplomas in, in various other cities as well. So if you're planning to come, still come for a one year, you know, uh, uh, graduate diploma, choose it outside Auckland so that you can get a two years post study work visa, which again is a very good amount of time, not only to be able to work and get New Zealand experience, but if you're able to find good jobs, which take you over the threshold of $50,523, you would also be able to make your uh, resident visa application. So I think it's an incredible policy change. And if you're planning to come below level seven in between levels four and six, very similar rules are applying. I will not talk too much about it because especially for us at AJV, we hardly ever get any students who come uh, below seven for us. So for AJV students who are coming at level seven, from now onwards, we will advise you to try and uh, get outside Auckland so that you will become eligible for a two years work visa. Or if you're coming for a level seven bachelor's or a level eight or a level nine or level 10, no problem. You can go to Auckland or any other city in New Zealand you will get your three years post study work with a great, great news for everybody concerned. Now for students who are planning to come with their spouses into New Zealand, uh, uh, there is going to be a change. Uh, if you are planning to come for a level uh, nine or a level 10, which is a master's or a, a PhD, no problem. You will be eligible to come in with your spouse. Uh, and if the uh, you guys have kids, by virtue of the fact the spouse gets a work visa, the kids will be eligible for, you know, a free education if they are of school going age. But if you're planning to come below the level nine, which is level seven or level eight, which is a bachelor's or a postgraduate diploma, then that bachelor's or postgraduate diploma has to specifically match a course uh, or a qualification as uh, written in our long term skills shortage list. So again, I will not get too much into the details of it. But if you are uh, planning to come to New Zealand with your spouse, safe bet is to come for a level nine or a level 10, which is a master's or a PhD, then your spouse uh, would be eligible for the partner work visa. If you're planning to come below level nine for a postgraduate diploma or a bachelor's, talk to us at AJV and we will assess your situation and make sure that you're able to get into the right level uh, and into the right course so that you will also be able to come with your spouse. So overall, I think it's a fantastic day. My first reaction was, wow, what a great, incredible uh, you know, change to the policy. It's going to remove exploitation of students. It's going to grow our international industry, education industry. Uh, it's going to grow our regions because more students will now choose to go to outside of Auckland, which is kind of becoming chock-a-block and we are having problems with infrastructure and housing and stuff like that. So I think it's an incredible, uh, you know, announcement. And uh, as a professional who's been in this industry for the last, you know, almost 15, 16 years, so I'm incredibly happy to say that New Zealand is finally uh, getting on to becoming what it is, which is a premium, high quality destination for premium, high quality students from all over the world. So you guys are doing well if you're choosing New Zealand. Plus, remember, we have sustaining ongoing skill shortages. So we would like to attract good, smart young people from different parts of the world to come and study in our world class institutions. Take advantage of all these lovely post study work visa uh, uh, policy changes that are happening. 
get yourselves those three or two or one year post study work visas and then incredibly uh, you could possibly also go on to become uh, a future worker resident or citizen of this beautiful country so very warm welcome and especially for all your AJV students you will continue to receive the best support you can get from all of us we are a big team of people spread across three countries we are very strong in New Zealand and as I keep saying the real drama starts after you land in New Zealand we will always be there at the end of a phone to be able to guide you and we will continue to talk to you as and when policy you know keeps changing and we will be uh, working with you at each step of the way so many congratulations to all international students already in New Zealand and those planning to come to New Zealand this is the place to be guys and uh, the people to talk to to be in New Zealand is our wonderful team at AJV so looking forward to working with all you beautiful young smart people wanting to come to a, a lovely country like New Zealand and look forward to working with all of you please share this video with your family and friends and I look forward to coming back with more news Kia ora.